In the last video, we talked about setting up basic video settings in creative movie mode. In this video, we're going to talk about setting up advanced color profiles in order to optimize the image of the GH1. To get started, the first thing that we're going to do is hit the film mode button on the top of the camera. Now, if your camera is new out of the box, it probably came up on the screen saying film mode and standard. What we're going to do is we're going to set up two different color profiles that we can use with the GH1 uh, depending on the situation. My two favorite film styles are smooth and nostalgic. When setting up these color profiles, I set everything to minus two, which is the lowest setting that you can go on the GH1. I'm doing this for a couple of different purposes. The, the number one purpose is to get the flattest image possible so that I can later color correct and post. The second is that I want the least amount of processing on when I'm using the hacked mode on the GH1 in order not to push the camera into breaking the codec or causing write errors when using the hack. If you'd like to try different settings with both smooth and nostalgic, go ahead and do that. Um, certainly what you should be doing on a per shoot basis is optimizing your settings for the scene that you're shooting at hand. Now, I'm setting up these defaults with at least contrast minus two, sharpness minus two, and noise reduction at minus two. In a lot of ways, it's hard to even notice the difference when you minus or plus these settings. Uh, the main thing is, is that you want to use the smooth and nostalgic modes. Now, when you've set those settings according to what you feel is best, or if you copy my settings here, what you do is you hit the film mode button again to save the settings. It will ask if you want to overwrite the profile. And so you have my film one and my film two. I save both smooth and nostalgic in those two settings so that they're easily accessible. Mm -hmm. 